Hey y'all. What's going on? How y'all doing? Y'all alright? <laughs> you know who it is. It's me, Stacy, here to do an energy read. You already know because I feel like it. I got a bunch of downloads. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them all out in this reading. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's go with this one. You know what? Spirit said, no, no, no. We're going to save those. Um, I'm going to do a live. You know, we're going to do it like that. All right. Now, let's just get y'all an energy read. That's, let's, yeah, let's just keep it real. Let's keep it cute. <laughs> All right. Remember that time is fluid. So whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reason. May not resonate with everyone. <laughs> so please don't take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, child, listen, now they gonna leave me alone. <laughs> mm. Okay. Alright, we'll take this one. <clears throat> first one, the first download I got, it says people ain't mad at you because you talk about them. They mad because you're calling out the spirit. Okay, you're calling out the spirit that resides in them, and it's not that you are targeting them either, it's because they recognize it. Okay, they recognize what you're saying is triggering. Okay, so okay, take that. And now people are hiding because other people can recognize the spirit. So you're helping other people, not only are you helping those that need it, you're helping other We we all need it. You're helping other people to recognize the spirit. So when they see it in themselves and they see it in other people, right, they can use their discernment. They're starting to recognize it, right? And the ones that are in that spirit are starting to try to hide, right? Because they know now people see them, okay? All right? So they ain't mad at you. Yeah, it might be it might be uh, rocks hitting people. You know what I'm saying? Triggering people because they recognize the spirit. All right, they wanted to stay in the illusion. Look at my eyelash. Oh Lord, this thing on there right <laughs> this morning. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I'll fix that later. So yeah, you know. So now people are they they mad. They want you to be quiet. They want you to shut up. You know. And, and and they think you're talking about them, but how how could you possibly be talking about them? All you're talking about is the spirit, right? A hit dog will holler. If that spirit's in that person, they gonna be mad. Not that you you know you just can listen, call a spade a spade. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and another one that I got was if you let a person put a label on you. Then you also give that person the power to take that label away from you. You understand? Don't ever live by somebody else's uh, demands, somebody else's standards. You understand? Because if you're living by their rules and how they see things, when they turn around and say, "I don't," you're out. Then you're out because you gave all your power to whoever. All right, take the high resonance, okay, spirit. Let's go. And that's what anything, that's how come there's hierarchies, especially in, in employment, in, in these jobs, right? There's always a manager, a boss, right? Come on. And some people take it so literally that sometimes they abuse that power, right? But they got to understand, right? Whoever gave them that label can take that label. And whoever put them in that position, they can be removed from that position. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why it's important that you um, be in your own lane and you're on your own journey. You know, you never allow people so much power over you that you can't step away or walk away or, or disengage. You know what I mean? Don't give people no more power like that. For real. Always. make. That's why God gives us our own identity our own gifts so that we can multiply with our gifts by using our gifts in his work some way shape or form ain't nobody saying you got to be out here being an evangelist but you got to have a, the int an intentional heart you got to have a love a love for people for humanity 
Not just about what you can get. Because we'll we'll stay stuck under somebody's thumb because the pay is okay and it pays the bills to have these trinkets, right? Are we helping other people with that money? And then we wonder why we struggle. Because we ain't doing that but what we want to do. Come on, Spirit, what's this? If you let a person put a label on you, they can take it off. Let God listen. I'm not going to push y'all today. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, I just know what works, you know, proven in my life. I wouldn't lie to you. I couldn't tell you that nobody or anything else helped me to get to where I am on this day except God and prayer and being obedient and listening to what he tells me. Trusting him. Trust what I can't see, but trust what I know. Don't be illusioned by people's actions. I trust what you know to be true. That you've experienced. You've tested. Come on now. And you know it's going to work. As opposed to something. Yeah, it looks good over there. You know what I'm saying? It looks easy. It looks like, yeah, you know, that's good. Yeah, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Stick to what's tried and true. For real. What we got here? Confession. Somebody always got something to say. <laughs> Somebody always got something to say. Somebody has something to tell you. What they got to tell you, spirit? Look, they watch you. I know that. They, they could say somebody's spying on you. Or just yeah, somebody definitely doing some research trying to figure you out, trying to figure out something about you. What somebody want to tell you? <laughs> A little birdie. <laughs> A little birdie want to be... Tell you something. Listen, communicate. I can make it up. Somebody want to say something. Somebody want to communicate with you. They want to compromise. They want forgiveness. They want to forgive. They want to work something out. Okay. That's always good, right? Peace over everything, right? Even if you have separation to bring peace, go get peace by all means. Spirit, what's this message? If you can't find peace in the situation, find peace within yourself and acceptance of the situation. You hear me? Come on, spirit. What's this message? What we got here? Open up your heart. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's going to have to real. This going to be, yeah, this might be something you may have to forgive. Okay? We got caution. Mm-hmm. It will help you attract more love if you open up your heart. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Yeah. All right. So spirit saying being open to the communication, being open to hear what someone has to say. All right. Be forgiving. But you know, like I, you know, you're not gonna forget. That's why your heart's closed to the situation. You know. But God is saying, open up your heart. You know, to um, seeing things from the same perspective that He sees you. You know what I mean. Remember when you knew? You knew before you. You know, you knew what you knew. God knew, knew who you were too And he still accepted you you know And we're not saying that you gotta be God I'm not saying that you got to have anybody In your life cause you don't Okay you do not But you can forgive a person For their actions in the energy That they were in Because you too have been in that energy At some point in your life right And you had to ask for forgiveness If not from the person that you Lashed out at or whatever you did But you had to ask for forgiveness for God And you had to admit that you were wrong Hold yourself accountable you know So that's why Spirit is saying being op Be open to listen to hear Somebody's you know Confession what they got to say You know And not only Will it help you to have an empathy And compassion right And understanding and grace Right and mercy Right. But be careful, you know, you, you don't have to swallow anything, you know, you can hear a person out and understand, listen, I know, I understand, I've been there, alright, I forgive you, you know what I'm saying, but you no, know, by no means I say you have to bring a person back into your fold, you know, because the devil knows what to do too. 
find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Just be use use caution in with your heart. You hear me? You can you can still be loving and caring, but you don't have to allow someone to come in and trample on your heart again. Ten eleven. When I said that, spirit, what's this message? What's this message, spirit? Please and thank you. <clears throat> oh, too many, way too many. One at a time. <laughs> Mr. Spirit, this health health issues could arise. There's a lot. I, there's a lot of hearts out here. Okay, so y'all, you know, be careful how you, you know, take care of yourself. Maybe some of you guys need to have your physical. Okay, get a health check. All right. Maybe you haven't had a, a physical in a while. You need to go ahead and check. You know, as we get older, things don't work as efficient as they used to. Right. Could be our eating habits, you know what I'm saying? Our, our fun habits, you know? Anything we introduce into our body, you know, has an effect of it on us, you know? Some things are long, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Just keep yourself healthy, you know what I'm saying? And if there's anything going on, you, you can catch it, you know, and, and rectify it. And, and, send, and pray, for, pray about it, you know what I mean? No, you cannot just ask God to keep you healthy and don't go to the doctor. <laughs> That's why he gave us doctors. All right? People that are smart enough. You know? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> All right. What's this? Ooh, we got love spell. Somebody put a love spell on you. That's what they want to tell you. They, put a, they tried to put a love spell on you or somebody else put a love spell on you. So look, yep. Yeah, Spirit said move on. Hmm. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. Look, a fire sign in reverse. Look at that. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody want to tell you about something somebody did. <laughs> we got honeymoon. Hmm. <laughs> honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Wow, somebody could somebody could tell you that somebody put a spell on someone to get them to marry them too. That's what I just heard. Yep, could be somebody at a distance. Ooh wee. Mm-hmm. Yep, listen to your intuition. Right under caution. Ah, spirit said read between the lines. But read read what this person is not telling you, right? Because this person's keeping some things out of it. Mm, somebody could be getting a divorce. Maybe that's what they want to tell you. That somebody got married. Somebody was, somebody was under a spell. They may want to say they was under a spell when they married somebody. Somebody at a di distance. You or your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Hmm. The red flags you ignore now will come, will come back to bite you later. Then we got divorce. Wow, somebody's realizing they didn't listen to their intuition. They didn't take caution. Yeah, somebody's health could be declining. Yeah, there's a divorce coming, or it already has. Oh, somebody could be confused about their sexuality, or maybe there was a lot of... Some were still figuring themselves out. Yeah, there might have been a lot of things that, you know, went on in this. Ooh. But, you know... I don't know, but I heard. I'm gonna be honest, right? But I heard that, like, with that kind, with those love spells and shit, if when, if when they backfire, they create like in, instability in, in people's sexuality and shit. You know what I mean? Make people, you know, start dipping and dabbing in things and being very risque and less, um, less um, aware, more vulnerable, more open. To different experiences, you know what I'm saying. That's what I hear. So take that how it resonates. If you if you if you feel like that, if you if you see somebody in that kind of energy, you know what I'm saying. Like listen, say no, man. Listen, yeah, it's not the right time. 
So just be cautious, you know. Yep, yeah, because this is a cycle. Mm, somebody's still in a cycle. Fate, karma, something ending and something else beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this honeymoon phase is ending. Yeah. Now somebody's starting to become awake. I guess this shit must be wearing off. The illusion is wearing away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody did. It's like somebody, somebody may have felt like they were just, they were like on autopilot. You know what I'm saying? They were moving forward with something, but still there was something like, hold up. It's like they couldn't control it. You know what I'm saying? They were being led. You know, they were being an illusion. They were being mystified with different things, keeping them blinded. Yeah, man. So they went on forward with that. Mm -hmm. And now they're realizing this is this the energy I'm picking up. This is somebody also that may have been, you know, engaging in, in things they like they ain't never did before. They wouldn't see themselves doing, but they were doing it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about with that sexuality thing. Because that's what I'm picking up. Somebody being very, like, dealing with, uh, they were fluid. Okay? They, they couldn't control their urges and their desires. Who come on, spirit? Oh man, but that spirit tell me that's what them that's what they do. That's what that spell is supposed to do. Have somebody uncontrollable in their in their desire, right? And and disillusioned by someone. Ooh, child. All right, spirit. What's this message? Ooh, come here. Uh, listen. <laughs> Someone else, third party. Someone was in the middle of this relationship. Someone was trying to sabotage this. Somebody wanted him. Ooh, I said wanted him. Come on, spirit. Could have been a water sign. Ooh, wee. Yeah, so somebody got lured away. Mm hmm But see, that happens because somebody was already open. To dibble and dabbling. Somebody was keeping secrets about their own desires, right? Somebody, somebody ended up, right? Okay, say this is somebody that was that snick, snuck around with third parties. Maybe you didn't even know about this, okay? But see, because they were already in that kind of sin, it was easy for somebody to come and just poof, look over here. You feeling me? Because they were in their self load. This was somebody that was, didn't have no strong uh, convictions for themselves. This was somebody that was open to dibbling and dabbling, but see, they didn't realize that they were walking into a trap. Because this was a lesson for somebody for sneaking around. They snuck around with the wrong person. You heard me? They snuck around with somebody that, that snatched their ass. Ooh, mm -hmm. Come on, Spirit, what's this message? Somebody that didn't play by the freaking rules. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we come on, spirit. What's this message? <laughs> what we got here? An uh, air sign. Ooh, we Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mm-hmm. Yep, a commitment. I'm telling you, things are getting serious. Somebody made a commitment to somebody. Yes, they did. And there's definitely was a third. They could have been a third party in your relationship, and and they lured this person away. Okay. Hmm. Or this, or or somebody could be then caught that the person that got lured into this this marriage is now is now saying that there's a third party in their relationship. Take that how it resonates. That's one or two stories there. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Listen, somebody got a gambling addiction. Yep, somebody's got a gambling addiction. They have problems with addictions or gambling bad, and bad finances. Come on, spirits. Yeah, they're facing a lot of challenges. Ooh, I don't know why they look like somebody could be pregnant. Well, no, this is somebody that has a lot of obstacles to overcome. That's a boulder they're trying to push. Make a decision. Work on the inner healing. That's what somebody needs to do. For real. Hmm. What's this message? Commitment. They came on out. Yep, something got serious. And we got divorce on top of that and, and health. Alright? So this gambling is going to end up in a divorce. 
this commitment is going to be, be torn. Yeah, patient. Somebody said, be patient. This is going to be um, ending. This cycle is going to be over because some there's going to be a, a tower. That's what it is. Let me get some tarot here. There's going to be a tower. That's what this is. Okay, spirit, how we want to come? There's going to be a tower. I heard that. We want to use the everyday tarot. Okay. All right. Look at that wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck. What I'm telling. Mm -hmm. uh, no, these decks. Okay. Keep them as they are. Mm, a lot of purple here. A lot of third eye energy. I just noticed that the cards are purple, lavender, pink. The cards in my hands are purple. So I'm picking up a lot of uh, third eye energy, a lot of crown chakra energy. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, somebody was playing on somebody's top. Mm -hmm. Playing with them, their intuition, you know, blocking their intuition. Um, but if, if somebody was even feeling the slightest hint of doubt, they were, this person was, was, was pushing, pushing, pushing. Pushing the agenda, you know what I'm saying? Always trying to get somebody to feel like, yo, this is the right way to do it. Yep, we're right, we're good, we're good. Not allowing somebody to stop and fucking think. Ooh, listen, there was a lot of sex involved. And that was to keep somebody off they fucking, off they, all right, because all they wanted to focus on was how good, the good feeling, you know, that, that, that shit, man. Yeah, somebody had somebody, yeah, until they got them where they wanted them. You heard me? Spirit, what's his message? Didn't give nobody time to think. Always kept them busy. Kept them, kept them sex. Kept them drugged up. Kept them drinking. You know, kept them in. You got to stick. Keep them in the illusion. You know what I'm saying? So they don't have time to think. They don't have time to stop and and and, and realize. Oh, hold up! I'm going the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Blinded by all that. Let's go. Let's go travel. Let's go buy this. Let's get you know the clothes and all that. Yes, yes, yes. Strung them right along. Come on. Follow me. By somebody's uh, weaknesses. That's what it is. That's really what it is. It's just a weakness. It's a vice. Mm -hmm. Money, cars, and sex. Right? Let's hmm. what's this message. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Mm -hmm. All they got at the end of that ride was heartbroken because you lost everything for something that wasn't even real. You know what I'm saying? But because of your own desires that you try to keep hidden, that's what led you astray. Come on, spirit. It wasn't really the love spell. It was it was your own desires that somebody knew. Somebody peeked it in you. You know, it's really we can we can have all the desires you want, but when somebody offers it, because what they say the first one's always free, when somebody brings that to you. And offer to give it to you. Here, you can have it. You can taste it. Right? You already know you really want it to, right? But how can you pass it up? And then you you, you take a little nibble here and a little nibble there. Next thing you know, you're, you're biting. Next thing you know, you're eating whole sandwiches, right? Next thing you know, you don't walk out the damn dough. You don't follow the breadcrumbs. Come on now. Right to the witch's house. Hansel and Gretel, right? She had all that sweets and all that good shit, right? Fatten them up for the kill. You heard me? <laughs> Spirit, come on. But I think Gretel woke up, right? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Queen of Wands, I cannot make it up. Lured you away. Her beauty, her sexuality. Come on, Spirit. Listen, regret. Come on. Come on, look at all those things that I did. I, I How I was so open to all that. Whatever. You hear me? Come on now. Yes, somebody followed it. Followed it. I don't want to call it. Not today. <laughs> I'm just going to say not today. Let's leave it alone. You know the Queen of Wands. This energy I'm picking up. Yeah, very beautiful. Very sexual. You know, very tempting. And like to invite Come on, it's more, it's fun. 
It feels good. Look, look at us. We look good. You know what I'm saying? We the boss. We boss of king and queen. Be my king. Let's rule the world. Let's take over everybody's bodies. And they spirit and they mind. Let them make them think that we're, we're where it's at. Do it our way. Let's control them. Child. That's what I'm hearing. Look at this. The five of cups came out in reverse. And what is this? The hierophant came out in reverse. Wow. Somebody went against everything that they believed in. Ooh, this queen of wands had somebody turn against everything they believed in. That they want their morals and their values. It's like they, they turned away from it. You know what I'm saying? Their, their, their uh, connection to, to, to God, I want to say, right? They turned their back. They turned their back on their, their, uh, the information, right? Their upbringing. Somebody had, they could have had like a, they had a God was in the in the mix. You know what I'm saying? They maybe went to church. Maybe they had, you know what I'm saying? Somehow in their life they have morals, right? That they turned their back on, right? They turned their back on what they knew was right for the, for for what they wanted. That's what happens when things, because God is patient with us, right? So we got to be patient with God to bring us what we deserve, right? And sometimes it could take a long time. I promise. It can take a long time in the waiting, right? But you're supposed to persevere. This is somebody that didn't want to wait. This is somebody that, that somebody illusioned them to, I got everything you want right here. You ain't got to wait. You ain't got to go through that. I already got that. Whoever you with ain't never going to have that. Then they might have told this person to turn against their belief as well. Where's your God at? Man, listen. L listen. I can get it for you right now. Come on, spirit. This is somebody that wanted to co control another person, and they did. They put a they put a leash around somebody's neck, and they and they lured them away. You know, with trinkets, with with the illusion of of fun and excitement. Never the never the the reasoning with of caution, like of unprotected sex and what that could lead to stealing and taking from others and what that could lead to right the immorality of just having those different kinds of sexual encounters that with somebody that's not your spouse come on spirit come on now what's this message Manipulating and take advantage, taking advantage of other people just to get to gain, so you can gain power over them, and using your sex. I'm, I can't stress enough about the sexuality because somebody was using sex a lot. The death card. Come on, spirit. Somebody didn't didn't. Somebody turned away. Somebody went in the other direction. Somebody said, listen, I want it fast. Listen, mm, six of wands, time to move away to common waters now. Maybe that's what somebody wants to do. Somebody wants to surrender this life now. Somebody is, is recognizing that. What we got here? <clears throat> Three of cups. Look at that. Celebrations. That's what they wanted. They wanted to celebrate. Ten of pentacles. They wanted the tent. They wanted it all. They thought they was going to get it all. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Swords. Spirits that take them. Okay, we're going to start right here. Look at Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody thought they was going to take something from you. Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you looking right at the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this is, this Nine of Pentacles is. And you got the Ace of Pentacles right here. Look, listen. Three of Wands, yeah. Yeah. See, this, somebody was trying to steal something from you. You were not, you were supposed to be, you had, you were supposed to have your guard down. Somebody had their guard down. We already know that with the Hierophant in reverse.
Wow. Oh my goodness. Spirit just said this person may have gotten together, collaborated to take something from you. Now why would they have to do that if they got every fucking thing? Peep that. They're going to they go your first red flag. Why we got to take from this person if you already got it? Come on, Spirit. Talk about it. Look at the lie. Look at the illusion. Why we got to break this person down, stop this person, take from this person if you already got it? That was the first lie. Come on, Spirit. Listen. Because they wanted it. That was the whole purpose in the first place. Come on, Spirit. <laughs> Was to take from you. The whole purpose was to take from you. And then to convince another to try to help them take from you. But they illusioned them with that they had the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's got a rude awakening. Spirit, what's this message? <laughs> mm, look at this. We got patience. Just a few more months. And good things will come to those who wait. Look, give it time. There you go. There go your seed. All of this. All, listen, listen. Wait a minute. Ain't done yet. Manifest. Come on, spirit. Everything in divine time. And let things flow. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Look, and the eight of wands. Ah, come on now. Yeah, somebody got played. Somebody got played. Somebody got lured away with the illusion that somebody else had the Ace of Pentacles. And then when they got over there, they tried to convince this person to help them steal it from you. Now, how come a person don't go like, hold up now. I remember somebody saying one time, peep this. Where's this money? <laughs> yeah, that money, huh? I got it. I got it. And when you got over there, what they want to do? I'm going to need you to help me to steal this. Why? Where's the money? Trickery. They tricked you. Come on, spirit. Hmm. I remember somebody that was in my energy at one point, right? Going, where's this fucking money? Yeah. Oh, look at spirit. <laughs> Come on now. I was like, yeah. What money, nigga? <laughs> what money? <laughs> Oh God! Well, yeah, my this is out there now. <laughs> they know who they are. <laughs> I ain't never told nobody about it, but they know who they are. <laughs> yeah, that's you, huh? <laughs> oh, there. Who was this message for? <laughs> Look, I can't make it up. <laughs> Yo, Ace of Pentacle. That's yours, boo boo. That's yours. Look, look. And you defended that shit. They wanted to try to take it for you. Got your sword in your hand. Like, uh-uh. You better get on. <laughs> you better get on, little two of wands in reverse. Yeah, ain't no coming over here. All right, y'all. That's our message. I got to go. 3303. I hope y'all have a great day. Happy Friday. I'll see y'all later. If I'm up to it, we'll do a, a live. We'll see. All right. Listen, subscribe, guys. Hey, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. This train is moving. Get on board. This train is moving. <laughs> uh, mm -mm -mm. Anyway, thank you guys for, for all your support. Thank you for your subscribes, subscriptions, you know, for just hitting that like button. Thank you for the comments. You know, you know I'm going to get to them. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all later. This is.